Assalamualaikum. I am Teacher Fatin Adira, and for today's video, I will share with you guys about something very interesting in literature. Before that, let me ask you: Do you know the definition of literature? Literature means collection of words. There are a lot of examples, such as short stories, novels, dramas. Um, what else do we have? Um, poems. So, all of these are the example of literature um, that are uh, made. They are written by um, poet as well as talented authors. So, why do we actually need to learn literature? There are many, many benefits that you can gain when you learn literature. For example, you can increase your English language, and then you can learn new vocabularies of English language, and then you will learn to appreciate people's work. There are a lot of benefits that you can gain when you learn literature. So, whether um, literature is important or not, yes, it is important. Um, plus, it is actually um, needed in uh, English syllabus in Malaysia. So, if you think that you don't like literature, maybe this is time for you to like literature. You will learn how amazing literature is. However, for today's video, I will not be explaining about the whole idea of literature, but I will explain about one thing in literature, in literary works. So, what do you think I will teach you guys today? Can you guess? Alright, in today's video, I will explain about plot. Do you know what plot is? Have you heard about it? I believe everyone knows this. When you watch television, there are some plot twists and whatnot. So I believe you guys know. So do you want to know more about plot? First and foremost, let me explain what is the definition of plot. So plot is actually a storyline of a story or the sequence of events in a short story or drama or novels. And actually, without plot, you will you cannot read the whole story. The whole story will not even exist without plot. Therefore, plot is very very crucial in order to make the story complete. All right, like I've mentioned previously, why plot is super important? It is important in order to make the story complete. Without the plot, you will not be able to understand the whole idea of the story. Okay, for instance, you are a writer yourself. You want to write book, right? But you don't have the plot. You don't even plan the plot. How can you make the readers understand what you are trying to write, what you are trying to convey to them? Therefore, plot is super important. Before you publish a story, before you publish a drama, before you publish a novel, you need to have a plot. You need to plan the plot. So, now you understand why, right? Alright, there are five elements in the plot. What are they? Do you want to know? Alright, so we have five elements in plot, which are introduction, or in other words, we call exposition. We have rising action. We have climax, we have falling action, as well as we have conclusion. So these five elements, you need to take it into account in order for you to plan the plot. Alright, so first and foremost, introduction. Okay, as the title it is, <laughs> introduction means the beginning of the story. This is where you introduce the characters, this is where you establish the setting, this is where you introduce um, you know, the, the beginning of the story. Um, this is where you introduce um, what actually the novel or the short stories or the drama is all about. So this is where um, I can say that this introduction, um, you need to make it um, as bombastic as you can in order for you to attract the readers or uh, the audience to read and to watch. Okay? Alright, the second one is rising action so rising action is actually events that occur in the story to advance the conflict and bring the conflict to a crucial point this is where actually right after the beginning right after you introduce author uh, right after you introduce characters right after you introduce you know the whole idea of the story is all about then this is where you start to trigger the readers to keep reading or you trigger the audience to just keep watching so um, this is where you also bring the conflict to a crucial point to where it's very important 
um, that the readers or the audience cannot miss this part. That's rising action. Okay, next, number three, we have climax. So climax is actually a peak of the story, peak of the drama or a novel. Um, this is where the high point of the story, where the characters face a decision or event that will resolve the conflict in one way or another. So this is why like everything is very Hawaii. You know, this is at the peak of the story where you just discover a lot of things, a lot of secrets, you know, without coming from the right um, rising action. So this is the on top. If you have a what we call um, a graph, this is like how it looks like. You know, just like this. Let me show you. Okay, just like this. Okay, as you can see, this is where the climax is happening. So it's at the peak of the drama story or novels, where the readers or the audience just, oh, this is this is what's actually what's actually happening. There are a lot of conflicts happen, so that's why <laughs> climax is all about. Right next, we have falling action. Just like the name it is, this is where. Um, the readers or the audience find that the characters are trying to solve the problems, find solutions to their problems. So this is where the wrapping up of the stories, you know. Um, this is just like not the end, but almost the end. Okay, just falling action from the climax, just slightly go down. Things just getting more relaxed, more chill. So that's where falling action is all about. Alright, last but not least, we have conclusion. So, conclusion is like a final resolution, either good or bad, of the conflict. Or basically, we call it as the end of the story. This is where you know, um, this is at the end to the characters, to the stories. You know what, what is happening um, to the characters. You know, just at the end, the solutions to all the problems, you know, it can be happening either good or bad. So, that's um conclusion the end of the story so yeah so that is it super simple and super easy isn't it i hope this video helps every single one of you out there in order for you to understand what literature is all about generally as well as if you want to know a bit about plot and the elements of the plot so now you know how important plot is without a plot there is no good story without a plot you will not be able to read or watch a good drama or read a good novel. So plot is needed in order for you to publish a good story. Even in a plot, you need to take these five elements, introduction, rising action, climax, falling action, and conclusion into account. Without these five elements, you cannot create a good plot. And without a good plot, what? There is no good story. So you need to take all of this into account. If you want to be a writer or a script writer one day, yes, you need to take plot and all the elements into account. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Bye!